Welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Sam and I'm going to be leading you through an intermediate level gratitude vinyasa to help us cultivate a sense of gratitude. So this is also our first class in the Realign 2021 Wellness program. So if you're joining me for that program, welcome. And if not, I will link it down below and it's definitely something that you should check out. But in today's class, we're, like I mentioned, cultivating a sense of gratitude, and we're really gonna focus in on our heart chakra. So your heart chakra is your fourth chakra from the bottom up, and it's located right in the middle of your chest near your solar plexus. It's bright green in color, and this chakra governs feelings of acceptance and love and forgiveness, empathy, compassion, and of course, gratitude. So we're really gonna focus on opening up the entire front of our body. So we'll open through the shoulders, open through the, the sternum and the chest, and really try to imagine and cultivate that sense of openness and acceptance and love so we can really get into our feelings of gratitude. That will be enough talking for me for now for our introduction. You don't need any props for this practice, just your mat will be fine. And you're gonna wanna start sitting on your heels just like I am now with your sit bones right on top of your heels. You can always place a blanket underneath if you can't sit all the way back. But from here, we're gonna take cat and cow from a seated position and your arms are just gonna reach open and we're gonna open the chest wide so as if we're opening into that cow position. And then as we exhale and contract coming into our cat position, your right arm can come on top. Kind of just like you're giving yourself a hug here. And then we'll do that again on the inhale, opening up, arms reach wide, really take in the space around you. And then we exhale contract and this time bring your opposite arm on top finding a hug for yourself here inhale we open up wide really let your spine arch here your eyes lift to the sky and then we exhale opposite arm on top again as we curve in relax your chin down to your chest and inhale big big inhale and exhale, give yourself a nice big hug. One more time on both sides. Inhale, opening the arms up, take in the space around you. Exhale, contract in. And last one, inhale, opening up. And exhale to contract. Very nice, bring your hands to your side, coming back to a neutral spine. You can stay as you are, I'm just gonna turn so you can see me a little bit better. Staying in this heel seated position, you're gonna take your hands behind you, fingertips towards your sit bones, and then on an inhale, push into your hands just to lift your hips a couple of inches up off of your heels. So finding a really nice quad stretch. And as we do this here, try not to sink and roll through the shoulders, but really push them back behind you. Almost like you're trying to pinch your shoulder blades behind you in your back space here. Lifting your hips up to the sky, finding that length. Breathing deep. Let's take two more breaths. And we'll lower the hips back down, peel your hands up off the floor, and we're gonna walk ourselves all the way forward onto the mat, coming into Sphinx Pose. So your belly can reach down towards the mat. Elbows can be as close to your body as you'd like. The closer they are, the more intense the stretch. Just make sure wherever you are that your shoulders are pressing down away from your ears. So we have a nice long neck opening up through your chest. So feel really wide from shoulder to shoulder here. You can keep your eyes open or closed. Feeling that extension through the spine. Continuing to breathe deep. I love in this position that you can really feel your belly expand and contract right against the floor. So we get that immediate feedback from your breath. Let's tune into that with one more deep inhale. And exhale, release, roll all the way down. You're gonna take your right hand at a, either a 90 degree angle beside you or reaching all the way out as if you're making a T with your right arm. And then your left hand is gonna come under your shoulder. We're gonna bend both of your legs in and then just roll all the way over onto your right side and you can just relax your head down onto the mat here. So as I mentioned that 
right arm beside you can either be at 90 degrees, almost like half of a cactus shape, or stretch all the way out, whichever version allows you to feel that stretch in the front of your chest a little bit better. And I'll invite you as we go through our practice today to just find things within your space that you're in right now that you feel grateful for, that you're, you're happy that they're there, they're bringing you joy. Maybe it's a window that you're looking out of and you really appreciate the view that you're able to look at while you're practicing. Or maybe it's a couch if you're in your living room and you're just looking forward to when you finish your practice and you can relax on your couch. Maybe it's your yoga mat itself and you're just grateful that you have this time for you to practice. So we'll try as we go throughout this flow today to continue noticing things in our physical space and feeling grateful and sending our appreciation, sending that energy towards these things. And let's roll onto the other side right away. So keeping your knees bent, make that shape with your left arm this time. Right hand comes under your shoulder and we roll onto your left side. Continuing to breathe deep and on this side of the room, maybe notice a few other things surrounding you that you feel grateful for. Sending that intention of appreciation and love towards your surroundings. We'll take three more breaths here on this side. Great, and we will roll back onto your belly. Take your hips back, just finding a quick little child's pose. Let's have your knees apart as wide as you would like them. The wider they are, the deeper the stretch, and then walking your hands out. Let your forehead just relax onto the mat. Your arms are stretched out in front of you. Allow your hips to relax close to your heels. And just feeling your breath coming in and out, feeling your belly expand and contract. Really sinking into those hips. And we'll walk our hands in, bring your feet or your knees, sorry, a little bit closer together. We're gonna shift forward, tuck your toes, and right away, coming into our first downward dog. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little stiff today, so let's take a moment and just paddle through your feet. Maybe shake out your head, yes and no. Just finding a little bit of relaxation within this active pose. And let's plant the feet. So finding a nice solid and strong position. Allow your heels to reach towards the mat. Your tailbone is reaching in the opposite direction towards the sky. Shoulders are wrapping down away from your ears and around your rib cage. Your belly is pulling in. And from this nice solid position, we're gonna inhale the right leg up, keep it straight and square. Exhale to take it through, stepping it in between the palms, just finding a nice low lunge. And we can take a moment here just to breathe and settle the hips forward, allow them to sink closer towards the mat as we lift our chest and open our hearts towards the space in front of us here. And we'll take an inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna twist towards the right, so your left arm is gonna come in front of you. And then we'll find a nice hook on the outside of that right leg. So we have a nice twist happening through the body here. And we're gonna take some arm circles with your right hand here. So let's bring it down, close towards the mat. Inhale to bring it back up. Exhale, circle around. Again, inhale to bring it up. 
Exhale, really open that shoulder, open your chest, big, big circle. Inhale, breathe it up. Exhale, bring it around, maintaining that twist. Last one, inhale up and exhale. And we'll take the arms back to center, tucking your back toes, lifting up to a high lunge and right away swivel into your warrior two. Get nice and low through that front leg. Make sure we have 90 degrees with that front knee right over top of your ankle. Feel really open across the chest here, long and strong. And from here, interlacing your hands behind your lower back. Inhale to extend your arms, open your chest to the sky. Exhale, we'll dive forward. Finding a humble warrior here. Feel your knuckles reaching towards the sky. And we'll release the hands. We're transitioning into your extended side angle. So your right hand will come down towards the mat. Left arm reaches up overhead, trying to open up that left shoulder as much as we can here so that we find a nice twist. And if it feels accessible to you, we're gonna go into our bind. So your right arm will reach underneath your left or underneath your right thigh, and then trying to clasp the hands behind the back. Again, really working to open up that left shoulder. Your eyes can look up to the sky or down to the floor. Taking three more breaths. Being grateful for the challenge here. And from here, bringing your eyes back down to the mat, you're gonna step your left leg in so both our feet are parallel to the top of the mat, maintaining that bind. That transition doesn't always necessarily look pretty, but just get yourself here so we've got both of our feet to the top of the mat. We're bound to our right leg, and we're just gonna inhale, lifting that right leg, finding bird of paradise. This bind here with our right leg lifted. If this feels not accessible for us today, for whatever reason, you can just transition to tree pose with your right leg lifted. Otherwise, if you're joining me here in this modified bird of paradise, you wanna feel that your shoulders are opening. We're maintaining that bind, lifting the thigh up into our side body. And if you can, straighten all the way through your right leg. I won't be doing that today, because as I mentioned, I'm a little stiff but that's okay. This is my modification for my practice today. And if you're bound, we're gonna very gently release the leg and meet up in tree pose. So attaching that right leg to your inner thigh or your inner calf, bringing your hands together, Anjali Mudra in front of your heart, and then maybe extending the arms up overhead, feeling really tall like a tree. And again, notice something unmoving in front of you that you can lock eyes with, which will help you balance. And feel grateful for this, this thing in front of us that we're using to help us find our sense of balance. Testing our balance even further, let's bring our hands back together in front of our heart. Knee comes forward. And then we're going to take that right leg, extend it back. Your right arm will reach back, grabbing the inner edge of your foot and then kicking your foot into your hand to reach it forward, finding dancer's pose. Make sure that your knee stays parallel so it's not flaring out to the side here. We're staying really open through the right side of your chest. So we're not collapsing through the upper body. Feel really open. If you fall out of it, just get back into it. Not a big deal at all. And from here, we're gently releasing and very slowly coming down to a lunge. You can bring your hands down onto the mat. Take a breath here and we're gonna come back into our downward dog. Let's inhale back to that down dog. Just walk out your feet here. Notice how your right leg feels in comparison to your left. And from here, let's take a flow. We're gonna inhale forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward dog. And exhale to your down dog. Breathing, let's take three breaths here. Finding a moment of stillness before we continue and do that same sequence on the other side. So let's inhale the left leg up, keep it straight and square. Exhale, step it forward. Finding your low lunge, keeping your fingers on the floor just for a moment, lifting up your heart, feeling wide across the chest here. Just taking a couple of breaths to allow your hips to sink forward and down. Make sure your knee is still right over top of your ankle here. We'll inhale, both arms up overhead, right by your ears. Exhale, twist to the left. And this time finding your twist with your right arm hooking onto the outside of your left leg. And we're gonna take those same arm circles with your left arm. So take it down towards the mat first. We inhale as it comes up overhead and then exhale as we twist around behind us. Again, inhale and exhale. Notice how these arm circles can change, how the stretch feels in the front of your right hip. Exhale, release. We have one more. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. And we'll bring both arms up right beside your ears. Tuck your back toes to lift a high lunge. And right away, opening up to your warrior two on the left side. Feeling nice and long, low and strong here. Keep that left knee opening up right over your ankle. The outside edge of your right foot Pressing firmly into the mat. Feel your belly pulling in. We're up nice and tall here. Continue to breathe. And we'll interlace our fingers the more unusual way behind your back. So maybe your left thumb comes on top. Inhale to extend through the chest. Exhale to bow forward. Finding your humble warrior. Continue to breathe. Continue to pull your knuckles up towards the sky to find a nice stretch through the shoulders. One more breath. And we will release, coming right away into your extended side angle first. So finding this nice open position through the right shoulder. And then from there, transitioning into your bind. Again, eyes can be up or down towards the floor, but whatever variation you're doing, we're still trying to roll that right shoulder up on top of the left. Three more breaths. And with our final breath, we'll bring our eyes back down to the mat, stepping your right leg in to meet the left. And let's right away transition. If you've got that bind, lifting up, finding your either full bird of paradise or modified bird of paradise as I'm doing here with the bent leg. Our goal here, even with our leg lifted, is to feel really long, really tall, really open through the chest, even though we have all of this compression going on on the left side of the body, that we're still able to find space and length and freedom all the way up through our shoulders, through our heart. And of course, if we fall out of it, no big deal. Just getting back into it. We'll very gently release the leg, coming to your tree pose. So bringing the sole of your left foot onto your inner right thigh, hands together in front of your heart, and inhale, breathing the arms up. Feel nice and open and wide. Maybe find a new thing to lock eyes with in front of you to help you with balance. Feel nice and tall here, just like a tree. And feel your roots from the sole, of your, the sole of your right foot growing into the floor to help support you. Inhaling and exhaling. Our final balance here, we'll bring our hands together in front of our heart. Bring your left knee in and then take that left leg back as we grab a hold of it on the inside edge of that foot with our left hand. Push into your hand, take it forward into your dancer's pose. Right shoulder stays pushing down. You want your right arm to be parallel to the floor. 
Feel that openness through your left shoulder. Continue to feel those roots from your right foot expanding into the ground underneath you to help you balance. From here, we gently release and nice and slow with control. Coming down to your lunge, fingertips to the floor. Let's just lift the eyes and lift the heart for a moment. Being grateful for having two legs on the ground and we'll take it back into our downward dog. And again, let's just walk through the feet for a moment and then find stillness so your heels can relax down towards the mat. Take a couple of breaths and we'll take our flow. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And let's take the knees down to the mat. We're gonna swing the legs all the way forward. You can give them a nice shake out in front of you. Now that they have a little break, we're gonna fully reach through the legs. So pulling up through your knees, maybe pointing through your toes. We're gonna inhale the arms up overhead and then exhale, reach it forward, trying to find a long spine here. So reaching as much as you can through your lower back and then taking that spine forward. So you might not be able to go as far, but we're trying to keep our shoulders open and our spine nice and straight here. So we don't wanna just round and let everything go in this position. We're pitching forward with a straight spine. Keep your shoulder blades coming together behind you. Taking one more breath. And now let's release forward, finding that curve. This time maybe flexing your feet and grabbing the tops of your feet. Continuing to breathe. Nice and deep. And we'll roll up to take a seat. Re-engage through your legs, bringing your ankles all the way together. Your fingers will come behind you, pointing towards your sit bones like when we started our warm up. And then on an exhale, you're gonna push into your hands, lift your hips, finding a little reverse plank. Squeezing your glutes, pushing your hips higher, keep your shoulders open. Make sure you keep your neck supported so we're not just letting it go. Breathing. One more deep breath. And we'll release our hips all the way back down. We're going to bend our knees, so shift your hips forward, roll all the way down onto the mat, coming into bridge pose. So your feet are right in line with your hip bones. And we wanna keep our knees right in line with our hips. So as we push up, our knees aren't going to flare open, but we're gonna keep the inner thighs engaged so that we can keep our legs in two long lines here. So arms can just rest by your sides. We're gonna push into the feet, squeeze the glutes to come all the way up, finding your bridge. Taking a couple nice deep breaths here. Finding gratitude and pleasure in the effort. And if you can, interlace your fingers underneath your lower back. Rotate the head of your arm bones out so that we can get a little bit more height through the hips. Try and get your palms all the way together. Breathing deep. And if your hands were interlaced, we'll let them go. Slowly roll back down onto the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Just take a little break here. And from here, if this is something in your practice, we're going to go into full wheel pose. If it's not something that you practice regularly, you can just return to your bridge pose, that same variation that we just did. Otherwise, your feet will come down to the mat, your hands, We'll come right beside your ears, fingertips point towards your shoulders. And when you're ready, on an exhale, pushing into your heels and your hands to roll yourself up, finding your wheel pose. And you can rock a little bit forward and back, trying to get your shoulders right over top of your hands. Try to keep those inner thighs 
engaged so your knees aren't flaring out to the sides. Staying here for as long as you need, as long as feels right for your body. And when you're ready to come out, you're gonna tuck your chin, lower yourself down, rolling onto the mat. And once again, bending your knees in, lift up, making yourself a nice little ball here. Maybe rocking side to side. And we'll release the legs, coming into Shavasana. Our final resting pose here. Your arms can open out to the sides. Feel that your shoulders are really opening and melting down into the mat, taking up space. Feeling our heart rate start to return to normal. The intensity of our breath returning to normal. Becoming aware of any heat surrounding your body. And let's take this time in Shavasana to revisit our practice and revisit those things that we feel really grateful for in our surroundings. Really picture those things in your mind's eye as we lie here with our eyes closed. And really feel that sense of thankfulness and gratitude emanating out from the center of your chest, right at the bottom of your rib cage near your solar plexus. We're breathing into that space now and allowing these grateful feelings to expand out away from us. Maybe this will bring a soft smile to your lips. We'll take about 10 more breaths here before we close off our practice. Gently start to wake back up just by wiggling your fingers and toes. Maybe letting your head fall from side to side. And when you're ready, slowly making your way onto your right side. Maybe taking a second here. And then making your way up to take a seat in any way that's comfortable. And let's bring our hands into a lotus flower. So your thumbs and your pinkies will stay connected as the rest of your hands and palms open up into a circular shape here. And we're gonna bring this lotus flower right in front of our chest. So again, opening your shoulders, feel wide. Bring forth those feelings of gratefulness and of appreciation for the things surrounding you physically in your space in this moment. 
And I want you to feel that those feelings are filling up this lotus flower. And we're gonna take this lotus, lifting it up to the sky as an offering, allowing our grateful feelings to emanate out into the space around us. Take one final deep breath. And we'll bring our hands together in front of our hearts in Anjali Mudra, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for doing this practice with me. I know that I am very grateful for you for joining in, whether it's through the Realign program or on my YouTube channel. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness to stay up to date with all of my new classes that I release every week. And hopefully I will see you on the mat again very soon. Bye.